All right, Mush. All right, we lovers. How's it going? Armored Pants here. Got another video for you today. Um, there's a lot of talk in the forums recently about uh, the Shinobi, and somebody asked me to do a review. So here's my review. Firstly, short review. Here we go. This is my opinion about this tank. Just drive it off a fucking cliff. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, if you are interested in a longer review, let's go and have a look at this. So, um, so the Shinobi. Uh, is what the uh, Chidukai is called, where it has this camo on it, right? And that derives from the Japanese Sanshiki Chisensho Chinu, which actually means uh, medium tank model 10 from Imperial Year 2603, for those of you who are interested. What the fuck that means, I've no idea. But um, when you stick the old, uh, the old camo on her, she becomes Shinobi, which, by the way, in Japanese is a kind of ninja. Um, and you can see there they've got ninja stars on and all that. Um, but it's kind of weird looking, isn't it? It kind of looks like a gay Power Ranger or something like that, or like uh, not like a, like a woman in drag or a man in drag, sort of like Lily Lily Savage here. Not very attractive. So kind of looks like a tank, but you know, kind of weird in a way, you know. So yeah, so I think it does look like sort of I was being saying there it looks like a kind of gay Power Ranger. The pink Power Ranger is gay, is he, or is that a woman? I don't really fucking know. I don't watch Power Rangers. It's a fucking weird show, but. Um, this tank anyway does kind of look a bit weird and um, the camo was kind of um, odd looking and um, as I said like a, like a man in drag and um, doesn't do anything for me really to be honest and um, the red sort of wheels and the tracks are kind of weird too I mean if that were real camouflage you'd be fucked would you be seen from everywhere and um, but anyway when you put the, this camo on it and um, the legendary camo becomes snowy which means sort of ninja now this thing is about a ninja like as fucking fat kid with arthritis. I mean, it's fucking not nimble at all. I mean, it just, it's not fast. For a medium tank, actually, some of the tier 5 heavy tanks are to, can do the same speed as it. Um, like the VK 301H does almost the same speed as it. So it's not fast. You can see here everything's left me behind, right? It has no real armor, except maybe in its turret a bit. Um, it's going as meh. It's nothing special. It's just alright. Um, it's reload is standard, um, even a bit below um, a lot of other medium tanks. And its damage per minute is not great either. So you see they're just average damage rolls, the same as any other tank. So there's nothing really spectacular about this tank. Um, I mean, you know, have you ever had one of those dreams or where you're trying to get away from somebody and you can't run properly? That's what driving this tank is like. It feels like you're constantly sort of stuck in mud or something like that. It's just, it's just not maneuverable. Um, so it's not it's not like a medium tank. It's not maneuverable at all. Right? If you, I mean, it's very difficult to circle a death, and it's very difficult to get around heavies because I mean, like that. Um, I mean, like even if you're against something like a KV or KV One uh, S, this tank is just not. It's uh, it's not doing it for you. Like it just won't get around the map. It's not terrain friendly. You know, you can see there the gun is all right. Like I mean, but it's not a very maneuverable tank. As I said, I call it treacle tracks. It's like you're constantly driving in mud or treacle. Um, it absorbs nearly all shots. It's very difficult to bounce anything. You can go hull down in it. Um, but you can't really drive it as you would normally drive a medium tank. It's not a frontline tank. You can't really get around the map. So therefore, you're sort of like a support tank. Um, but where is the fun in that if you're if you're driving a medium tank, right? I mean, you want to be frontline. You want to be getting involved in the action. You want to be driving fast. This thing does none of those things. If you want to sit at the back of the map at support, then why not drive a fucking tank destroyer? What's the point in driving this fucking thing? So you're kind of thinking then, alright, oh, so does it have a positive going for it? Well, it does have one fucking really positive thing going for it, and this is why it was discussed in the forums. It has a 228% credit coefficient earning ratio. So the fucking thing earns, it farms credits. You know, it, it's a fucking, it's amazing for earning credits. You see there, look, 62,000 credits from that game alone. Right. So it is a credit farmer, and apparently Wargaming have said that they were not going to—they're not going to change it. They're not going to um, mess around with it. So it's going to keep that. So if you want to earn credits, this is the tank for you. If you're interested in driving a really good medium tank, this is not the tank for you. I'll go back to my earlier review. Just drive it off a fucking ledge. All right, Mush. Cheers. Take it easy now. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.